All right, here we go with another round of bullshit busting in the realm of McKinsey, BCG or Bain interview preparation. This is City from the MBB Offer Machine, and if you know us already, you're probably aware that we are by far the world's leading institution when it comes to sharply targeted preparation, which only focuses on the absolute top firms in strategy consulting, which are McKinsey, BCG and Bain. And when it comes to the number of offers our mentees have received from these three firms over the last few years. Now, unfortunately, there is a gazillion of false myths that have been spread over the years by ill-informed individuals who mostly never had the responsibility of actually interviewing candidates for an MBB firm but who nonetheless still wrote books, blog articles, or even created paid content, which has subsequently been used by tens of thousands of applicants for their interview preparation. These resources are regularly filled to the brim with wrong premises, with false, uh, false myths and pure non-understanding of the actual assessment rationale and methodology used by MBB firms. And let me be very clear, this is especially true for those people who managed to get a job at one of the MBBs, but who only then worked there for a couple of years and who never went through the actual interviewer training at their firm. So the list of such damaging advice is sheerly endless, I'm telling you. It's spreading from phantom topics like practicing mental math to things which are completely a waste of time, like acquiring industry expertise and many, many more topics. So one of the things that regularly drive up my blood pressure is the widespread promotion of isolated drills for topics like chart reading, for example. I mean, there are entire commercial products which have been developed where people are promised to improve their capacity of chart and data interpretation by going through dozens or hundreds of such isolated drills. But let me warn you, once and for all, such drills are an immense trap. An immense trap. And they will cost you dearly in your MBB interviews. Because here's the thing, what the typical resources on case interview preparation are not telling you, and they are not telling you this because their authors also do not understand it, since they were not trained as interviewers with an MBB. So here it is. A chart can never be interpreted in isolation. Never. It is simply impossible, period. A chart, at the end of the day, is just a container for information and data, nothing else. And therefore, an insight can never be found in the chart itself. A true insight can only be generated by contextualizing the information which is on the chart. So this means the primary thing you must have in mind when reading a chart is where are you currently in the wider context of the case and in the context of your initial case structure. And this is, by the way, also why your initial case structure must have an inherent logic and not only be a list of topics or buckets as it is usually shown in the typical case preparation books. So, for chart reading, what this means is, whatever the chart is that you are getting, and whatever the data is shown on the chart, always, always relate this information back to the question or topic which has been discussed with the interviewer right before they handed you the chart. And then, then ask yourself, which information do I need to answer that sub-question? Uh, sub and can I infer this information from what is on the chart? 
And how will then the answer to this sub-question advance me in addressing the overall client problem? This, this is the secret sauce that makes a candidate sound super coherent and monster strong in an MBB interview. And believe me, almost no candidate is able to do this. And this is one of the major reasons why our mentees usually completely stand out in their interviews. And now, what does this mean for your preparation? Well, it means that isolated drills will never allow you to improve on the principal quality that is actually tested by MBB interviewers. The ability to absorb and contextualize information connect it to the overall problem at hand and use it to advance towards an answer of the client's main question. Chart reading drills might allow you to become very strong in making distinct observations, but they are completely useless when it comes to learning the skill that actually matters to MBB interviewers, how to generate real insights. And since we have understood this already years ago, our mentees are not wasting their time with isolated drills. Instead, they learn how to contextualize information, quickly identify the relevant data, and to then advance towards answering the actual case question in a super sharp and precise way. So my advice to you is think twice before you go into the direction of isolated mechanical drills. It might feel as if you are improving, but in the end, this might very likely be one of the main reasons for your rejection by the MBBs. Instead, you should learn from people who have actually been responsible for interviews in MBB and who have not just spent two or three years there as associates or analysts.